it's all making sense now. It's all making sense. No wonder Black Ops 4 sucks so much. The guy who actually is the head developer of the game doesn't even play his own game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. My name's Eight Thoughts. Thank you very much for coming on by. I don't think it's any secret that I'm an idiot Call of Duty gamer. I don't think it's an idiot that's my favorite game I play. Please don't push any judgment onto me. I know it's one of the only negative things about me I can think of that is, you know, I actually enjoy the Call of Duty franchise. Can't be perfect. That's my crutch. I gotta bear it. But the head developer, if you don't know who that is, which would be surprising because 90% of you watching this video probably play Call of Duty, um, is David Vondahar. David Vondahar is kind of a respect, respected person in the Call of Duty uh, field, I guess, when it comes to development and making the games. He's, he's made some of the best games. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, World at War, the second game iteration after Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, Black Ops 3, which is debatably the best boot flying around super, you know, I don't know, Jimmy Neutron Call of Duty game. And then now Black Ops 4, which um, I'd have to agree uh, because uh, Thunder made a video on this already. If you don't know who that is, 402 Thunder. I'll leave a link to the description down below because he's the guy who got the information on this. So respect and credit to Thunder for putting this information forth and actually showing me it. But uh, I agree with him. I think Black Ops 4 is the worst Call of Duty in the franchise, and that is including Black Ops 3. And I think Black Ops 4 is probably first, second worst boots on the ground Call of Duty ever made behind Call of Duty World War II. But Call of Duty World War II became a lot better at the end of its uh, life cycle after Michael Condry and his other bum buddy uh, artist Glenn Schofield got fired but Black Ops 4 definitely is in the top two three worst Call of Duties boots on the ground if not maybe the worst of all time I know Infinite Warfare is a hated game by a lot of Call of Duty fans but the stat and the information we're gonna get to here to actually show the video to move it along and how David Vondahar the head developer of this game doesn't actually play the multiplayer which is obvious because you know the certain aspects of the multiplayer game that the fans and Call of Duty people have been asking for no specialist playlist can you put some more score streaks in there balance the lobbies better etc 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 um are just falling on deaf ears because he is deaf he doesn't care so the stats being put forth showcasing why he doesn't even play the game and how he just got busted and the only game he plays is blackout which also shouldn't be surprising because all he talks about on twitter is blackout 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 getting sick and tired of hearing that from the guy shut the fuck up already about blackout it isn't that good of a goddamn battle royale bro hate to break it to you psh, psh, psh. so the proof here to bust dj vaughn which is this is his gamer tag for the playstation network is if you go down you can see this is all the stats it's called duty track network and it shows you like how many games each person plays of each you know rather game mode of call of duty black ops 4 multiplayer black ops zombies first of all also let's just, let's just point out that he he sucks he sucks at uh at black ops uh black ops 4 blackout he's he's not even good and he made the game his win percentage is less than one percent he's got 12 wins without kills seven wins he, like he sucks he basically gets backpacked all the way to being a uh to being a winner in blackout and he made the game so okay that's kind of sad but if you go over to multiplayer here he has never even played the freaking game and i know people like are you, are you sure eight thoughts are you sure are you sure this is his stance eight thoughts are you sure this is his actual is this his actual yeah this is his verified actual count that he plays on on many accounts on many occasions live on streams this is the one he always talks about dj vaughn this is what he played with the doctor disrespect this is his account ladies and gentlemen 110 percent his account and this guy who makes call of duty black ops 4 supposed to be the lead designer isn't even playing his own multiplayer zero 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 across the board zero 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 never even like booted it up like he basically maybe played it a bit um probably during development you know in i guess their own private test betas or whatever that they have in-house that don't actually you know connect to the online uh, aspect of the playstation or xbox network um but as far as you can see here he has never even booted up the freaking game this is pretty sad like you think call of duty is dying no no he thought it's not dying it's best best franchise ever you know i'm an idiot too i played it openly admitted at the beginning it's one of my favorite franchises if not the only game i really actually play right now besides fortnite of course <laughs> Um, so yeah, but you go to Blackout here. 323 gains played, 305 losses, 18 wins, 0 ties, 1 first, one, 7 wins without going down, 12 wins without even a single kill. So 12 of his 18 wins, he'd even, he'd even get a kill. 
Like, this dude doesn't actually even play Blackout very much. He's only got 323 games. Like, I barely play the game. I don't even like Blackout. I think I got over that many games. Here's his stats. They suck. Gee whiz, dude. You are absolutely garbage. He has less than one kill per game. DJ Vaughn, first of all, is a horrible gamer, apparently. And he doesn't even play his actually own game. I mean, what is he actually doing? I guess he's just being a DJ. I guess that's his main focus. Because, obviously, he has let the game slide. He has obviously... That's why Black Ops 4 is the worst call of duty in the franchise i mean because you see him time and time and time again being added tweeted add on twitter asking him hey can you do this can you do that can you do this and it really does feel like if you're a call of duty fan and which i am sorry once again it's a crutch i have to bear that the game has just been forsaken the multiplayer aspect for sure has been forsaken there doesn't seem to be any actual like you know really good updates they don't even give a crap about the black ops pass i mean have you not noticed this as well i know if you're not even a gamer this is still kind of like a consumer point here now if you don't know what the black ops pass is it basically it is an extra bonus feature that you pay for I think it was like 50, 60 bucks extra for the year. I don't know because I don't buy that crap because DLC is a con game scam. But it allows you to have access to get uh, more maps and bonus content that people who just bought the base game wouldn't get. However, though, in this Black Ops Pass, your, your big actual selling feature are new maps that you actually can play the game with. And these people who bought the Black Ops Pass haven't had even a chance to play any of the new maps because they're supposed to be put into the rotation of the actual multiplayer game for people who bought the pass and, you know, they have their own little section of maps matchmaking haven't even got to play the new maps really only way they get the chance to play the maps now is if they do it in a private lobby or custom game which is stupid because you're just playing by yourself against a bunch of bots and that's not what you buy a, a multiplayer you know online game for you to play you're supposed to be playing other people not npcs right so it's it's ridiculous that way and there's just seems to be a lot of negating and a lot of neglecting of the multiplayer aspect while david vondahar who is really the most talented person at treyarch is focusing on the blackout mode so the big features of it are this that you should be taking care of because zombies are done by a different group in treyarch and they completely de you know develop that on their own pretty much separately away from vondahar because vondahar isn't a zombies guy vondahar is supposed to be the multiplayer guy but now he's just taking care of blackout and there's no one handling the actual multiplayer who i don't know i don't know who who's at the wheel of this ship who's at the wheel of this car who's at the helm of this freaking you know spacecraft it's just cruising around you know whoa wishy-washy you know like some kind of drunk soccer mom who just found out that her husband was cheating on her with the babysitter and it's just you know whoa, and it's smashing into shit and just you know having a midlife crisis because her you know the looks that she had and how you know what she had no personality but she was really attractive helped get her this trophy husband sort of rich guy and now you know she's ugly and fat and getting old and quite frankly you know just like all women you know they only have so long of a shelf life before they become worn out if they don't have a good personality or a night that my friends was a message within a video brought to you in part by eight thoughts i hope you were listening get woke so the multiplayer really is probably the worst aspect and honestly black ops 4 if you're looking at it without being a dumb fanboy little kid is probably the worst boots on the ground call of duty i will actually go and i will say this after about six months, I know at launch, COD World War II sucked, but after about six months in, that game is better than this game. It is less frustrating, the specialist, the annoyance, the freaking kill streaks, the score streaks, the actual guns were more fun. It was better actually running. The lobby balancing was better. Overall, Call of Duty World War II, 10 times better game. Six months too late, obviously at that point, that game was better than this game. Black Ops 4, I think, might go down as one of the worst Call of Duties of all time. I mean, I know next to Infinite Warfare, a lot of you guys hated that game. I personally didn't mind it, thought it was pretty good. I liked it, I thought it was a lot better than Advanced Warfare. So to me, worst Call of Duties of all time, probably advanced warfare black ops 4 and then infinite warfare those are my top three worst call of duties of all time and it's no wonder david vondahar has completely without doubt forsaken the multiplayer aspect of this game and it shows because it pretty much sucks and it's stale it's dry it's like crusty underwear it's just not good man it just does not feel good on your skin we need someone to put the lotion put the lotion on the skin to help make it better. Okay, I'm getting weird here, but I should end the video. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna close it out now, guys. Thanks for watching. My name's Eight Thoughts. Hope you have yourself a great day. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, hey man, make sure you smash that like button. Um, jokingly, no, seriously, hit the like button. And uh, really, honestly, if you haven't subscribed by now this far in the video, you're, you're probably not living life correctly if you haven't subscribed. So, reminding you, rectify, turn that ship 180. Don't be a David Vonderhaar, be a winner. 
hit that uh, subscribe button. And last but not least, and very most importantly, I need you all to stay back and do a doggy cracker reptilian shapeshifter building a new base, heartless brain chemtrails. Now that it's in jobs, the entire setting. The Bohemian Grove worship the Algebra, the Slap, the Millennium, Fake Hell, Jones, Bill Hicks, the Florida Strand, the Fox Gate, what man bring you down? We'll be right back.